Pluto, a distant and mysterious planet, was once a member of the planetary family in our solar system. However, recent alarming statements made by well-known astrophysicists like Michio Kaku and Neil deGrasse Tyson have brought Pluto back into the public eye. They have made a shocking discovery Neptune and Pluto could potentially come into collision. Is this a unique cosmic phenomenon, or is there more to this upcoming cosmic impact than meets the eye? Come along with us as we investigate the possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision. The scientific community is still captivated by Pluto, which was once classified as a planet but was later reclassified as a dwarf planet due to its peculiar orbit. Leading scientists have recently discovered that Pluto's path is dangerously close to Neptune's orbit. Famous astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are raising concerns about the likelihood of a devastating collision between these two celestial bodies, a scenario that has the potential to be a serious threat to Earth. But how could something like this happen? Pluto's orbit around the Sun is very unusual compared to that of any other planet in our solar system. A single orbit takes a remarkable 248 years to complete. Pluto has not yet completed a full orbit since its discovery in 1930, adding to its mystique. However, Pluto's orbit is not simply slow, it is also extremely elliptical, which sets it apart from the more circular orbits of larger planets. The fact that Pluto's orbit is skewed 17 degrees from the plane of the solar system only adds to the complexity of the situation. Its path is much more extreme than that of the other planets because of this inclination, adding layers of complexity to its movement. Pluto's interaction with Neptune's orbit is one of the most intriguing aspects of its motion. Contrary to what we might anticipate based on the relative positions of the planets in our solar system, Pluto comes closer to the Sun than Neptune does for about 20 years of each orbit. Naturally, this raises the question of why Pluto and Neptune have not collided. The answer lies in the gravitational pull of other planets and celestial bodies. Shortly after Pluto's discovery, research into its orbit began. Its strange path bewildered early astronomers. Pluto's orbit stood out because of its steep tilt and elliptical shape, in contrast to those of other planets whose orbits are more aligned with the ecliptic plane. The discovery that Pluto's orbit crosses that of Neptune sparked much scientific interest. A remarkable property of orbital mechanics is the stability of Pluto's path despite these irregularities. When looking at how Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move, the so-called three-body problem comes into play. Understanding how three celestial objects move and interact through gravitational forces is required to solve this problem. It is difficult to predict their paths, which is why terms like scope vibration, VZK wobbling, and IML vibration become important. When Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it stays at least 90 degrees away from Neptune, preventing their paths from colliding. This is referred to as an IML vibration. The vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit is referred to as scope vibration. This means that Pluto is above the plane of their orbits when it is closest to Neptune or any other large planet, providing additional protection from potential collisions. The VZK wobbling named after scientists V, Z, and K, who investigated how space objects interact with gravitational forces is another important factor. Pluto's apparent erratic behavior is explained by this phenomenon which describes how the gravitational pulls of Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun interact to maintain Pluto's path stability. Despite the fact that Pluto's orbit appears to be erratic, this wobbling mechanism contributes to the planet's steady motion over extended timescales. Pluto's orbit is stabilized by these intricate forces, preventing it from colliding with Neptune or deviating wildly. Understanding how orbits change as a result of the gravitational pull of multiple objects requires a grasp of the three-body problem. Studying this can teach us more about Pluto, our solar system, and even distant celestial bodies around other stars. In the late 1980s, mathematical simulations showed that Pluto's orbit is still chaotic despite these stabilizing factors. Over millions of years, even minute variations in its starting conditions could result in significant differences. However, Pluto's orbit is stable over extremely long timescales, effectively limiting potential disruptions despite the inherent chaos. Recent computer models have provided new insights into how the gravitational effects of giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's orbit. These models demonstrate a unique relationship between Pluto and Neptune. Neptune completes three orbits for every two that Pluto completes around the Sun. This resonance stabilizes Pluto's orbit. However, Neptune is not the only influence. Both Jupiter's and Saturn's gravity contribute to the system's stability. 
Simulations show that Pluto will remain in a stable orbit for billions of years thanks to the combined gravitational pulls of these giants. Without them, the solar system would be far more chaotic, with planets and dwarf planets like Pluto potentially colliding or being ejected from their orbits. To get a better understanding of the dynamic nature of our solar system, it is essential to comprehend Pluto's orbit. The case of Pluto is a great illustration of how the intricate interaction of gravitational forces can bring stability to even the most seemingly unstable orbits. It also emphasizes the significance of ongoing investigation and observation for gaining a deeper comprehension of our place in the universe. The unpredictability of celestial mechanics is demonstrated by the investigation of Pluto and its orbit. Pluto's case clearly illustrates the concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the extreme sensitivity of a body's orbit to its initial conditions. Over time, Pluto's orbit could be significantly altered by even the smallest adjustments to its speed or position. Researchers have gained a better understanding of Pluto's motion through the use of simulations. These computer models employ intricate mathematics to simulate the gravitational interactions between Pluto and other celestial bodies. Astronomers can observe how even minute adjustments can profoundly alter Pluto's long-term orbit. These simulations revealed something fascinating about Pluto's orbit in the late 1980s. While it might be stabilized by IML vibration and scope vibration, it could still display chaotic tendencies over extended timescales. Even small variations in Pluto's initial position or velocity can result in significant orbital shifts. However, Pluto's orbit has remained relatively stable over billions of years despite this apparent chaos. This demonstrates that, although its path may seem erratic, it actually follows a predictable pattern. Pluto's orbit reminds us of how much is still unknown. By understanding the gravitational interactions between Pluto and giant planets, we can better comprehend the larger dynamics of the solar system. The position of each planet can have profound effects on the stability and trajectory of other bodies in the system. So why now, after all these years, are astrophysicists raising concerns about a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune? An insightful perspective is provided by Neil deGrasse Tyson, a leading astrophysicist who helped popularize the study of cosmology. Tyson, known for advocating Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet, sees this change as a reflection of our ever-increasing comprehension of the solar system. He views Pluto's reclassification not as a demotion, but as an advancement in our understanding of the numerous bodies that orbit our Sun. The foundation of Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is ongoing education. He believes that Pluto's erratic orbit signals how much more there is to learn about space. Scientists and the public alike remain fascinated by unknowns such as the possibility of catastrophic events involving Pluto and Neptune. Tyson acknowledges that anything from a close flyby to a catastrophic collision remains possible, and his predictions for Pluto's future take into account its highly irregular orbit. Another well-known physicist, Michio Kaku, joins the chorus of experts concerned about Pluto's long-term future. Kaku investigates the mathematical basis for potential interactions between Pluto and Neptune. According to his theories, Pluto's orbit appears stable for now, but its future remains uncertain. He warns that even small changes in the gravitational forces between Pluto, Neptune, and other planets could, over time, trigger a catastrophic event. Despite Pluto's current stability, Kaku's predictions highlight its orbital vulnerability. It is essential to consider Pluto's orbital future as we continue to study the workings of cosmic mechanisms. The unpredictability of celestial dynamics means we can never completely rule out a collision with Neptune. Even though current models suggest such a collision is unlikely anytime soon, Pluto's orbit will continue to be shaped by interactions with other celestial bodies. The Sun's eventual transformation into a red giant and collapse into a white dwarf could also alter the solar system's gravitational landscape, potentially affecting Pluto's path. 